Though we saw a record amount of rain and snow this winter, we still face a hotter, drier future. These weather extremes are why the state of California's Save Our Water campaign is encouraging Californians to make water conservation a way of life. And something as simple as changing the way we garden can have a huge impact. With us today, we have design principal and landscape architect Kate Hayes of Sacramento-based Mirada and Dr. June Bando, the executive director of California Native Plant Society, to talk with us about how we can transition our yards from water-thirsty lawns to low-water California native plants. Dr. June, before we dive in, can you start by telling us what you mean when you say native plant and how when gardening with native plants and other water-wise plants, we can save water? A California native plant is simply a plant that is originally from California. So these incredible plants have evolved with our landscapes over time and are uniquely suited to our climate. And to jump in quickly, Save Our Water is looking to help residents make water conservation a way of life. And these California native plants that June mentions are a really critical piece of this water conservation puzzle. Now, some people might think that a low water garden has to be all cacti and rocks, but the garden you're standing in looks gorgeous, even lush. How does someone make a transition from a traditional lawn to something more like the garden we're looking at? These gardens are not only lush, but they're green, they're colorful, they're textured, and they can really suit many different design types. So in terms of, of answering the how, my recommendation is to start small. Pick a sunny patch or an entryway. There are a couple key websites, bloomcalifornia.org, calscape.org, where you can find plant lists and simple design recommendations to help you get started. Do you have any budget-friendly options or ideas for people who want to start out small? Your local water agency typically has very generous rebate programs um, that span from the entire yard down to a simple um, but effective irrigation device like a controller. Um, a lot of these local water agencies also provide design assistance program and can help offset the costs of bringing a professional out to help you. What's the best time to plant California natives and when are they in full bloom? The best time to plant is late fall or early winter. So now is a great time to be thinking about what plants you want and where you want them in your yard. And those resources that Kate mentioned, cal uh, calscape.org and bloomcalifornia.org are great resources for getting started. Go to saveourwater.com where you can learn more about water conservation in the landscape, but also in your home. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? For those of us who care about birds, butterflies, and other pollinators, your garden can be a lifeline. These creatures are in serious decline across California, and are the more native habitat we can provide, the better their chances of survival. So in addition to conserving an enormous amount of water, putting native plants into your yard can really help provide habitat for these important creatures. Wow. You've certainly both inspired us to embrace the beauty and sustainability of California living by incorporating water-wise practices into our gardening. Bringing you the best of California living, I'm Will Armstrong for California Life.